Hello everyone, my name is the Amber Knight, or Emma for short. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Never Ending Nightmares. This is going to be the final episode, as we are going to get the final ending. Now I don't know how short this episode's going to be, but I've got a steam guide here. I don't know why I'm showing my phone on camera, it's just a pure white block, but... Um, this is a guy to tell us exactly where to go because apparently if you mess this up Hurry. it obviously messes up the ending so I'll skip forwards to when I've got to the part where something happens Okay, welcome back. I got the proper ending. So this time, instead of it being his little sister, it's adult version. Jesus Christ, why'd you do that for? God. You're sleeping. That's good. So yeah, this is now a complete new ending. Ugh. Can I get that image of where he just like jammed it into his arm and then like lifted his skin up? What? Okay, examine two. Um, I'm assuming the true end. I know I shouldn't assume this right now, but I'm assuming the true ending has to be his daughter dying. So far, that's. That's the ending I would say makes the most sense at the minute. Nallies. Run! Fucking hell. I'll drop over the door. Not loud, apparently. Down the hole we go. What do I get the feeling this ending is going to be like that he killed his sister, his mom, and his dad? Run, Thomas! I was going to say Jacob for some reason. Fucking run, 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 run! Bro, you're out the door though. How did he get you? So I probably can run sooner. Right, so see how that noise run. Run. Run 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 Whatever reason that may be, who knows? So you try and tell me you cannot open them doors? Like, I'm not even locking them at all. It's like, what's stopping you? 
Now, in my last episode, I was talking about voices. Um, still looking really forward to writing it again. It's hard to it's I will admit it is very hard to juggle all these things at once, like recording games, having my own free time. Um reading and writing my own book. It's like God. I thought I wasn't gonna make it there. But I'm managing for like all of this stuff. There is like thinking of what I was saying as well from like last episode about um Junji Hito as well. I really wanna play a game called uh, World of Horror. Cause that's got like very Junji Hito vibes to it. I don't know if I would turn it into a full ass series though, because apparently it's very long. But who knows, I might, I'll have to look into it. See what the gameplay is like. Because it really does look very heavily inspired by Junjito. And when I was looking at um, reviews on it, a lot of people also said if you like Junjito, it's your type of game. And the thing is, I don't just like Junjito, I love Junjito. It's one of the titles that I can't wait to get. Because I want to get um, Tomi, um, Soichi, Yuko aka Slug Girl, and the girl from Uzumaki with the giant spiral in her eye. Who's crying? Who is crying? Motherfucker, I can see you in the friggin' darkness. This feels like it's gonna leave the same room he was in. Guess not. Go, Thomas. Bye, Thomas. Wake up. Okay, I just want to say real quick, because I didn't mention it in my last episode, but that music sounds a lot like Silent Hill 2's ending music after James finds out what he finds out. I'm not going to spoil it, because I know a lot of people are looking forward to the Silent Hill 2 remake and haven't played Silent Hill 2 original. So I'll not spoil that, but it sounds a lot like the music from that. Thomas, please wake up. Oh God, please. Or at least the start of it anyway. Thomas, you're awake. And that is all of the nightmares. So even though they're, these are never ending nightmares, there is an end, because I got all of them. That's all for never ending nightmares. Um, I hope you enjoy what you've seen today. And if you want to see more videos like this, as always, I'll leave links in the description, as always. And I really hope you enjoyed never ending nightmares, because it was good. I would say the true ending for me is Final Descent, where you kill these kids. Wait, no. Depends if you want a bad ending, uh, but in between, or a good ending. Okay, so apparently there is no true ending. But these two are just nightmares. 
and that's just waking up from the nightmare. I think that's what I understood from reading. In my opinion, since he wasn't a child at the start of the game, he was a grown adult, I would say Final Descent is the real ending. That it was just him trying to get over his dead daughter. Obviously the lost child that was representing the the baby that he, the baby that he lost the daughter. Wait, did I say he killed her? I don't think he did kill her. I don't remember what I said, I can't remember but my opinion, Final Descent is the true ending for me. That he couldn't get over the loss of his daughter. And he couldn't live his life. So he started having these weird dreams. But... If you guys have a different interpretation of the ending... Um, leave your thoughts down in the um, comment section. I would love to hear your opinions. But that is all for Never Ending Nightmares. Um, like I said, I hope you've enjoyed the series, and I can't wait to start another series, um, whatever that'll be. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video that I do. Goodbye!